Okay, officer, sorry. You're asking me about my vehicle. You're asking me about... Just sorry. give me 30 seconds if you can. Sorry. I'll need to know your identification and your badge number. There we are. Pull down. Constable. Constable, pull down. Thank you very much. Do you mind me filming your face, sir? Uh, I won't if you don't. I, I don't. I prefer not. That you, That's fine. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Can I just ask why, why you want to film? Uh, this is yeah. for my safety and for my well-being. Oh, right. Unless you object otherwise. No, not at all. Man. Excellent, no. officer. Excellent. Thank you very much. I, for I treat as I find. It's, it's for my safety and for my well-being. All right. Okay, sir. Okay. That's fine. Are they recording? No, no, just the last chatters have been me yet, so it's okay. Okay. You save your battery for a moment if you wish, it's okay. I'm quite happy to film. I've got plenty of battery also. It lasts for about an hour, 45 oh, minutes. Yeah. Uh, unless you have a warrant or a legal and lawful determination in which you want to arrest me or whatever it is you wish to do, I'm more than happy to oblige provided you respect my sovereign rights. If it lasts longer than say half an hour, then I think I'd like to be left in peace. And then that's you, up to you to make a legal determination as to whether I'm doing something wrong or not. That's fine, that's fine. Excellent, sir. If Thank you can bear with me for a few moments because I've got some colleagues coming down who obviously can assist me in, say, the, your definition of a motor vehicle and my oh. definition of a motor vehicle. Is that okay? Yeah, so you're bringing somebody who can give me the legal definition well, of the word motor they'll, vehicle. They'll come down and probably tell you exactly the same as I have. But well, what, could you explain exactly what you've told me, please? I, I've said this is a mechanical propelled vehicle. It's used on the road, the mechanical propelled vehicle. I, okay. An engine. Are you saying the engine? definition of the word vehicle intends the word vehicle? Did you just correctly say to me that the definition of the word vehicle has the word vehicle in it? So what I'm going to say now is I'm going to caution you. You don't have to say it, but it may harm your defence. Do not mention when questioned something related to wrong court. Anything you do say may be given evidence. Are you refusing to answer that question? Is this is this motor vehicle your car, sir? Well, first of all, it's not a motor vehicle. Okay. It's my four wheels. Your four wheels. Are these, yeah. This, now, this four wheels, which I say oh. is a Peugeot. I haven't, I haven't finished answering, sorry, sorry, so sorry. I can't give you the full oh, facts. Apologise. Uh, the definition of my four wheels was handed in to for Police Station. Mm -hmm. And you have been fully informed okay. of the definition of the four, four wheels, wheels which I drive. Okay. Can I also give you notice of one other thing? You may, sir. Thank you. Um, I've got two friends that I normally take shopping. Mm -hmm. uh, two of the people of this lovely land that we live on. And I would think a really nice um, gesture on behalf of yourself, if the I am need to be take be if I need to be detained to assist you further, could you make sure they yeah. get home, please? Yeah. Put the portion at seven sixteen fifty five hours. But yes, so just seven. Sorry, sir. Yeah. I, I, I apologise. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. You're doing your job. Okay. Uh, Mr. Downs. Oh, so three things at once. Oh, Constable P. Downs. And your number is? 3583. 3583. Thank, thank you very much for that. So, sorry about that. So you, no, you mentioned that fine. you've taken some documentation into Redditch Police Station. Certainly have, sir. And okay. the Home Office has got it. Oh, right, the and, uh, Secretary of State, the yes, Department yeah. of Trading Standards have all yeah. got my documents. They've all okay. been told. I had two of your um, officers knock on my door last night at nine o'clock and get me oh. out of bed. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, on my bedroom door. Oh, what was that? Uh, that was oh, my it to remind me about my um, road tax. Oh yes. Which I presume is for civil servants and um, public servants, or for vehicles as well, which yeah. this is not. Oh yeah. But that's yeah. yeah. Uh, it's it's not yeah. worth arguing. No, no, no. I'll yeah. definitely oh, answer your question. Oh, oh, yes, could okay. I could I just remind myself? I'd like to give you notice. Mm -hmm. that I came to Morrison's to take two friends shopping. Now, I, it's my God-given duty to assist you with keeping the peace. Yes, All I ask in return is that you ensure that those two gentlemen get home safely with their shopping. What, can you take... Of course I will. Because we don't know what we're doing at the moment, so we'll just wait. I'm just asking... Ascertain, ascertain about, you know, driving licences, Mr. Downs, that's all I'm... 
trying to ascertain. I'm just asking talking. you, sir. I will assist you in any way, shape, or form that I can. Yep. As a natural born sovereign soul and as one of the people. All I'm asking in return is, could you ask the constabulary to assist those two gentlemen in getting home if need be? If, if need be. Thank you very so, much. Yeah, Thank as long you. as you know where they live. You know, that's, that's well, not, not, ask them. Yeah, it's not a problem, is it? You are serving them. Yeah, it's not a problem. Thank you. Yeah. Obviously, hopefully, we, won't, we don't need to do that. You know, we might be able to ask I, the well, questions. Well, you know, I tend to yeah. try not to make the legal determinations, but that's yeah, up to that's, you. That's, 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 that's fine, yeah. yeah. I'm just waiting for these other couple of colleagues because they may well know about your four wheels and what they've put and what you've okay. served to the police okay. because if that, that is correct and whatever they know. Oh, I've got proof of claim. Yeah. I've yeah. kept recorded delivery receipts, everything. That's right. That, that'll probably negate anything, any other question you want it, potentially. Well, again, I'm trying not to make a legal determination because yeah. I'm not a civil servant of the Crown or yeah. a public servant or an officer. Yeah. Okay. I operate in law, not commerce. Yeah. That's fine. Just, okay, sir. just happy to wait for it. For these couple of colleagues, to I did. Uh, do you think it's fair that I said half an hour? Yeah. And then after half an hour, I'll go, and then if you want, you can send me a letter, and I'll come to the police station. Yeah. Well, I'll say we'll have a chat. You, yeah. Obviously, I've, I have put you under caution, so obviously, if you decide to to walk off, then obviously I could report you for any offences that I deem that may or may not have been committed. Do you feel that that's appropriate, officer? Not at this time. So then you haven't put me under caution. I have. I've cautioned you. You've now cautioned me, so you must feel it's appropriate, and so you must. You must I'll, um, I'll put you in the caution at 1655 hours. So, just in case I have to answer or ask you any questions, which is only fair. Isn't what it? would you like to know, sir? Your four wheels, have you insurance on this vehicle, sir? Uh, am I required to do so? Yes, sir, or third party liability. Drive right, on a, um, could, drive you, on the highway. could you please provide me the legal lawful determination that gives you the authority to require me to do so? So in other words, if I need to do something to operate within the law, mm -hmm. I am desperately asking you to provide me the lawful proof of claim. It can be provided to Thank me. you very much. Not at this current time, because I don't carry everything with me, but I know for well that any vehicle to be used on the road has to have an insurance or third party liability. So you have Obviously, but the, 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 you're saying it's four wheels and not a vehicle. So that's no, 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 no. You, you actually made the legal determination to say it was a vehicle. That's right. In my, in my right, mind. okay. You, you've admitted that. That's fine. Yep. I'm not going to... In, in my eyes, sir, this Peugeot 406 in gold is a motor vehicle. Okay, sir. So okay. I, that, that's, that's how I no, perceive I, it to I, be. I, Mr. Downs, I accept yeah, that. And obviously, if you perceive it as, as four wheels and your definition of that has been served... Well, what, uh, place, just out of curiosity, could you tell me, uh, uh, with your oath of office, which I now bind you to in full, mm -hmm. To keep keeping up hold the peace. Yes, Could you please give me your legal definition of the word vehicle that you operate under, please? Oh, we've got a couple of colleagues. I might be able to. Yeah. Well, what is your definition? Because you've obviously mechanic, called it a mechanic vehicle. Mechanically propelled vehicle. Right. Okay. It's got an engine or some sort of mm. propulsion. Okay. It's, well, it's been sitting driven on the road. So. Okay. Nothing to do with commerce. You don't know about it ever. You don't know anything about a vehicle only operating in commerce? No, sir. I'll, okay, okay, I'll, that's I'll be, fine. I'll, I'll Thank you. Enlightened, not, not a problem. That's a nice word. <laughs> I've been enlightened by anybody. That is that. a nice word. I'm always happy to listen to anybody about anything. That's a nice yeah. word. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Could I ask for your identification, please? Your name and your badge number? Uh, it's Constable Lawson 2433. Three. I'm a man of peace. I can only operate in peace. And that's where yeah. I wish to remain. There'll so be no do trouble. We. So do we. Could I ask for your identification, please? Yeah, PC Addis. And your number, please. I'll wait. Could I have your number when you're ready, please? Uh, I'm terribly sorry, I didn't get your name. It's on there. Constable Addis, sir. Addis and the number? 2055. 2055. Uh, due to, no, I won't film anybody actually, it doesn't matter. I don't know if it's relevant, just so you know, for the public record, I don't know if it's relevant, but yesterday I did post a, post a notice 
to the DVLA, actually three different addresses of the DVLA. You might wish to keep that on your records for future reference. And what was that notice from my answer? Um, you can, but would you believe, I can't remember the name off the top of my oh. head. But okay. I have so, got I have got recorded delivery as proof, which no, is the fine. British no. Post Office. Yeah, that's that's correct. Is that good enough? Of course it is. Yeah. Excellent. I just wonder what you spoke to DVLA about. Is Excellent. it about excise licences? If you'd like a copy of it, I will be well, more than happy to pop into Redditch Borough Police Station. Wow. Well, I, I was only just asking. That was also. It's been uh, three copies have been posted. Two pages long. Okay. And uh, notice of civil and criminal misconduct to do with the DVLA. Oh, I right. think it was two people touching my vehicle. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay. It's not a vehicle. Ah, sir. Yeah. I made a mistake. Your four wheels. I beg your forgiveness. You've got it. Your four wheels. Did you I beg wheels? for your forgiveness. You've got my forgiveness, sir. Thank That's you. Not a problem. Uh, two yeah. people touching my four wheels. Oh, right. Working for. Well, I don't know. I can't make is things that, up. Is that reference to the signage posted on the window? No, that was that's been taken down already. Uh, just the, the, sticky, the sticky back sign. That's a, that's sorry, that's no, that's a that's a totally different thing. I'm Are you sorry, talking sir. about the council's? Yes, sir. Yeah. Forty-eight hours. Yes, sir. That's a totally different. No, I'm on about a sticker that was stuck on the windscreen. Oh, right. It said this vehicle, mm -hmm. correct word now, yep. uh, required a tax disc. But of course, this is not a vehicle. But that's yeah. Well, yeah. Like it. Okay. To be debated. Yeah. Potentially, yeah, definitely. Oh, that, oh, well, that, so, you're know. doing you're doing a good job for the community. I'll never take that away from you. Well, never. We, we try our best, never. don't we? And what we, we do what we can where we can, yeah. and help where we can. Yeah. And just so you know, I notice you've parked right in front of my four wheels, mm -hmm. but I can assure you, as a natural-born sovereign soul, I will never drive away from the scene of a crime if one is being committed. Yeah, that's okay. okay. Oh, you choose to leave it there of your own free will. I didn't know who was driving. Well, I'm informing uh, uh, you now. Yeah, that's fine, eh? I'm quite happy to move the vehicle now. Until that point, there's three gentlemen in the motor vehicle. Obviously, for my safety, do I you want to ensure that right, I'm okay. fine now. But is that... Do you feel safe? Of course I do. Well, the choice is yours. Welcome to free will. I shall move it, sir. No, I'm going problem. nowhere without your consent. Right, if you can just wait there for a moment. Ah, uh, with pleasure, sir. Lovely day, isn't it, eh? Fantastic. What do you think of this weather? We're having up and down like a yo-yo. It is, yeah. And you know, when I was little, mm -hmm. I was brought up in South Africa. Oh, right. uh, cut a long story short, four years old, mum and dad took me to South Africa because my dad got a contract out there. And um, the amazing thing is, I remember the weather. It was so hot, so dry. But the funny thing is, because it was so hot and so dry, the minute you sweat or perspire, your body heat's cooled down because the sweat evaporates. When you're in a tropical weather, because of the humidity and the damp in the air, you can't lose the heat as quick. Mm. It's amazing. Mm. And so from that point of view, it feels muggy and tense mm. and clammy. How many years ago were you in South Africa? Oh, well, I'm 45 years old now. Right. We left when I was four. I'm more English than Scottish, because mm -hmm. I've lived in Scot uh, sorry, England for what, 20 odd years. I'll, I'll sum it up. We left Scotland when I was four. Lived in South Africa, Durban and Botswana till we were about 12, 13. Came back to England, literally Wingates West, and um, lived in Penridge with mum and dad. And mm -hmm. I've, what was that? 16? Mm -hmm. And I'm now 45. Yeah. And I, the one thing I do miss is the weather. The dryness. Mm -hmm. Being a child, going out and swimming in the sea. Yeah. Having blue bottles mm -hmm. stuck on me yeah. and stinging me to buggery. It's so <laughs> funny. So funny. Mm -hmm. And yourself? You always been in this country? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. yeah. My name's Stuart, by the way. Stuart. Yeah. Stuart. Yeah. Forget, sir. Yeah. Well, I'm um, everybody's equal until until somebody tells me otherwise. Everybody's sir. I, I treat okay, people. Okay. Okay. Respect I respect that. How yeah. I'd like to be treated. Yeah. So I treat people that way. Yeah. So it's, well. Yeah. Stuart. No, no, that's, yeah, it's not. It's Stuart, you know, yeah. that, that's, that's how it is. Yeah. You know. Hence, you know, that I've seen you previously at Matchborough. 
Yeah, you've no, mentioned it's long, this. It's, I've been I'll, I'll tell you years. another story. I'll tell you another story. You'll love this. Do you know Match Pre Is it Christchurch? Yes, sir. Yeah, is it. it the church in Match Pre Centre? Yes. Oh, you're going to love this. Mm -hmm. When I was 19, and um, MP Jackie Smith was a youth... Oh, sorry, a youth worker. Mm -hmm. She ran Arrow Valley Community Centre. Now, I'm not sure if that's right. I'll take the name out yeah, as well. Yeah. Anyway, I don't, you wouldn't know this, but um, we did discos in those days, mm. and it's to do with rave music and to do with hip hop. Mm -hmm. And we had FHS, Funk House and Soul. To all you guys my age that know this, 45 years old. I'm 45, sir. Oh, are you? Sure. Okay, okay, yeah, excellent, try. excellent. Sure. Uh, FHS, Funk House and Soul. I'd love to name the names, but I wouldn't do it on camera. And um, there were six DJs that had a disco in the Christchurch and the bouncer was the father of one of the DJs. And the, um, the preacher of the church very nicely charged us £15 to have the disco. It was so packed that at the end of the night he came and asked if we could have another £10 donation. So I gave him that. Yeah. And that was, well, 45, that's 25 years ago. And then the other one was Arrow Valley Community Centre. Now, again, I won't mention any names, but do you remember the Festival Lakes? The raves? Yeah. About 91, 92? Yeah. You're looking at the person that organised the raves. Oh. That's me. Yeah. Redditch Borough Council, I'll certainly say that much, mm. came up to me one day in the Arrow Valley Community Centre. And they said, well, do you do this all the time, putting on these discos? And I said, yeah, we just do it for a bit of fun. And they said, well, we're going to have a big festival at Redditch Lake. The only problem is the people that are going to help us with the rave tent have dropped out because they've made promises and not delivered on the goods. Mm -hmm. So I basically said, well, I can put it on for you, but I'll need some help, I'll need some support. So in the end, that was my first intro to having the Lake Festival 1991. And um, the best thing that happened there was you guys turned up and you gave me some advice. You said that the tent, it was a 100 foot by a 40 foot marquee. There was that many people trying to get into the tent. They asked us to open the bottom of the tent. And when we opened it, if you imagine where the play area is for Arrow Valley Lake, uh, all the, the, kid, the kid stuff, the yep. play stuff, yep. if you look down, you can see the lake. You couldn't see the lake. All you could see was heads. Yeah. And uh, we mm. opened the tent up. It was an amazing evening. Are you young enough to remember that? Yeah. In my age. What well, school yeah. did you go to? I went to study high school. Uh, Arrow Vale. Uh, Not quite as posh. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite as posh. Yeah. Wow. Well, we haven't done much. Too bad over there, have we? Yeah, no, not skills. at all. Not at all. And you know, I'm a. All this aside, all this aside, I, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Happiness comes from within. And once you find that, it's a gift given by whatever. Yes, believe believe, believe agree whatever. With that, so, yeah. yeah. Is there anything I can assist you with, love? Anything at all? Okay, then, no, that's fine. That's fine. Are you about her age? Well, I'm 45, similar age. No, okay. Uh, she wouldn't know about the rave, wouldn't know about yeah, all that no. stuff. I thoroughly enjoyed that. That was an experience for me, and I'd never expected that to happen. No. Never. And that was thanks to the council, they taught me that. Uh, could I both, could I give all three of you notice now? This gentleman's had it. I, it's my God given duty to assist you with anything that I think you need to be assisted with. All I most humbly ask for is the two gentlemen I brought up to do shopping. If I need to assist you further, could you please escort them home and help them get home? And then anything you need off me after that, it's my duty to assist in any way I can. That's the only thing I ask for. If you can ensure their safety home, I'm here to assist. Do they live, do they live in Redditch? Yeah, Winyates. Literally Winyates. Well, you should know. Oh. Yes. Close to the centre. Well, right, where you where you started following me from, yes. Uh, Minyate Centre yes. area. Yes, where you were parked in the car park. And thanks for the escort because it feels so much safer having you guys around. Well, but it's a safe place, isn't it? It is. Very much so. Especially when you operate from a peaceful environment. That's right. It's lovely. I couldn't agree with you anymore. Yeah. And funnily enough, if it happens, if it happens, on Sundays, when we go for a walk around the lake, we take the two boys around, two little staffies. Oh, yeah. And it's so peaceful there, isn't it, eh? All these little walkways you can have yeah. around the lake and what have you. It's, it's, it's a lovely, pleasure. It's a, it's a lovely I'm green just going to check my time. Just going to check my time. 19, 
Yes, sir. Can we have a couple more minutes of your time? You certainly can. Marvellous. Shall we come round to you there? Yeah, I'll come round. Sorry. What can I do you for, sir? I'd, I'll stand here so you don't have to be filmed, though. Your first name's Jane. Um, Mr. Morris. We'll go with Mr. Morris. Um, call me Stuart. Stuart. Yeah. Is that your first name? It's, um, it's one of the names that was given to me when I was born. Oh, Mr. Morris, then. Okay. Uh, my name's Stuart Love. My colleague my here... Morris is my family name. Okay. My colleague here has seen you driving this vehicle from Winyates It's not Way. a vehicle, love. Let me finish. Winyates Way to Morrison's on Clearwell Road, Redditch. Okay, you've been cautioned by my colleague at 16.55. Is this your vehicle? Four it's, wheels. It's not a vehicle. Could you please? Is this your conveyance? It's my four wheels. Does it belong to you? Did you acknowledge four wheels? Does it belong to you? My four wheels is my private property and a part okay. of my estate. That's fine. We've done some checks and it's shown that there's no insurance held at the moment. Can you tell us otherwise? Uh, am I required to have insurance? You are, yes. Under the road traffic. For my four wheels? Yeah. Does the Road and Traffic Safety Act apply to me? Do you have insurance for the vehicle? Am I required? I'm asking you a question. It's yes or no, the answer. Are you making a legal determination to tell me how to answer your question, I'm officer? To answer the question. Okay. I'd like to. I'd like you to stay as a witness, if that's okay. Both of you. I'm here. That's good enough yeah, for me, I'm sir. Thank you. If a colleague needs to, needs to Thank you, Mr. Downs. That will do me nicely. Step away for a moment. That's okay with yourself. Just out of curiosity, Constable Addis, could you please give me the legal definition of the word vehicle? No. No, you can't. Noted for the public record, thank you. Do you go to that church? Um, not for a service. No. But, um, I found something out really interesting. It was the word congregation, a bit like the word militia. When you go back into old English law, and you have to go back to old English text, because the language and the letters that we use now are actually not old English, it's a new adaptation. I, I was led to believe that the words congregation and militia are actually old terms to do with um, how do I say this? There's a terms to do with worship as opposed to worship. It's a bit as if a, a change in words, semantics. That leads me to believe that I listened to somebody else. His name was... Please, Mr. Stewart. Can you provide me with an insurance company name who provides cover for you to drive on the road? I conditionally accept that upon proof of claim that I am legally and lawfully required to do so.
In other words, could you please provide me the proof of claim that I need to do that? I conditionally accept that. What was next? I conditionally accept upon proof of claim. Thank you, Morrison. Yeah? That I am legally and lawfully required to do so. Or if it helps, I conditionally accept. Uh, this thing's been filming for about 25 minutes. I think I'll get another 15 minutes out of it. After that, I just want to, I want to, in, uh, I'd like to inform all three of these offices that I no longer feel comfortable for my safety and my well-being, but I would be more than happy if you guys could charge it up so I could continue filming, or would you like to invite me to the police station and we can discuss this further, or... I conditionally accept upon proof of claim. The answer is yes or no. Do you have one or not? Are you? Do you have one? Uh, or not? Did you make a legal determination by forcing me to answer with a yes or a no? Okay. I think Are you, is that the only? I have to operate in peace. Is that the only alternatives I have? Can you provide me proof that you have a license? Am I required to do so, officer? Yes. Do you, you have an oath? Do you have an oath of office? Can you provide me with your license? I, am, I hereby now bind you to your oath of office. Could you please show me the proof of claim that gives you the authority to make the request that you just did? I have now bound you as a peace officer. I haven't done it to these two officers, but I have now done it to you, Constable Addis. What is your number again, please? Do you have your license with you? Uh, she's refused to give me her number. As a peace officer, I might add. Not as a peace officer. You are now bound as an officer of the peace, not an officer of the legal statute. I'd just like to inform you that my two friends have now returned. I most humbly beg you to have these guys escorted home to safety. I shall, I'll have a word with Thank them. you very much, officer. That's been very nice. Thank you. I would also like a witness to stay present. Are you comfortable to act as my witness here, officer? Yeah. Uh, Constable Lawson, would you be comfortable acting as a witness to this discussion I'm not that takes place? Anything. I'm just standing here. Okay. Um, sad to say, I have no witness except my camera. I'd really love it for these two gentlemen to be escorted home safely, sir. Might need to call another vehicle. I'd really appreciate that. Yes. I conditionally accept upon proof of claim. You have the legal and lawful authority, soon it will just become le uh, lawful, to require me to do so. By divine grace and under God or whatever exists up there, I have to remain in peace and I have to abide by the law. I would never forgive myself if I didn't. Again. I conditionally accept upon proof of claim that you have legal and lawful authority. That, that you have the legal and lawful authority to require me to do so. I'd just like to see the proof of claim in positive law. Thank you. I've just... You're not getting arrested, are you? I, I don't make any legal determinations. That's not our job. I've just given this officer and these two officers information. I would like it for you two guys to be escorted home safely. Yeah, we'll walk. Yeah, we'll just carry well, on. that to me, I'm giving the officers notice. If these guys have to walk, that's an encumbrance to your safety and well-being. 
That's a lawful determination that I have just made. Mr. Morris, I've explained to the two gentlemen that I'm quite happy to take them home. Yeah, as often. I yeah. would that's love you. Yeah. I stand corrected. I'm wrong. I'm but wrong. It, but obviously, it's he's um, done my job for the me. The Sorry. Choice if they wish to walk, they can. Constable P. Downs, so. you're right, and I'm wrong. So, end of the Yes. Sorry. DVLA inquiries show that you have a revoked license. That's a revoked driving license since the 20th of May 2012. Could, could you please define any the word revoked? It's been taken away from you. Do you have any answer to that? I conditionally accept okay. I'm required to have a license upon proof of claim. You have the lawful authority to require me to do so. Just the lawful authority there, please. So if you want me to have a license, I'll gladly have one, but I'm just asking you to show me the proof of claim in positive law that requires me to do so. so thank you, Principal Ladis. Ask him, officer, ask him what you did last time when he was supposed to make spaghetti bolognese. You'll love this. You forgot the mince and the anyway. Sorry, sir. Yeah, choice is yours, sir. Yeah, I know. Okay. We appreciate that. You're going to be here a while, yeah? I... Should we carry on? I would suggest you go home. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you guys later, later, if not, whenever. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Tom. Cheers. Thank you. Later. How are you getting home? I'm not happy with that, but that's not my decision. He's offered. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I said thank you three times. Okay. Believe me, that can't be over time. Yeah. See you guys. You haven't left anything in the uh, in, in the four wheels. No. Sir, so have you reapplied for your license since your revocation on the twentieth of May, two thousand and twelve? Am I lawfully required to do so? Have you? Am I? Yes. Have you? The, the answer is yes. yes. Uh, I conditionally accept. If you wish to drive on the road, it's I've never driven on roads. Okay. Uh, the one thing I would like to say for the public record and on your oath of office, which you are now bound to, I have now consciously and willingly and knowingly never driven a vehicle and never driven on the roads. That's for the public record. Well, I've got three witnesses, whether they like it or not, all officers. I have never, ever, ever consciously and knowingly driven a vehicle or driven on the public roads and i'd like to add for the public record i'm in peace i will remain at peace and god will kick my ass if i don't so there'll be no war here peace only and actually i think i'll stay as long as you guys need that's my job you can have me as long as you like guys I'd really love to record it all, but then, God willing. Obviously we'd like you to answer the questions that posed, uh, that'd, be, that'd be ideal, wouldn't it? As long as it's not under duress, under process, well, and without my consent, I'll answer uh, whatever you like. you feel like. safe enough to continue with this, sir? As long as it doesn't encumber my safety and my well-being. Oh, I'm sure it won't. Just out of curiosity, has there been a warrant for my arrest? Not that I'm aware of, sir. No warrant whatsoever? Has there been a, an injured party? I wouldn't know, sir. An injured party as in... Uh, have I injured any other one of the people? Or a person? Have I injured a person? Not that I'm aware of. Excellent. Thank you very much, officer. But I'm still prepared to assist you. That's my duty. I've just decided that. I'll tell you what I will do. Just line these up again. So, I'm just lining up my lovely paperwork. Okay, I can see that your vehicle is currently showing a vehicle registration mark of God's law. This does not conform to DVLA regulations. Do you have any reason why you are displaying this plate? Um. Oh, well I do believe in God, I'm not a civil servant, I'm not an officer of the crown, I'm not performing a function of government, I'm operating in peace, 
I'm a man on the land. I'm not in the land of England and Wales, or Scotland actually. I'm a free man on the land, as acknowledged by the criminal protection courts in Warwickshire. Um, and if I'm required to have anything other than that, please give me the lawful proof of claim. Did you acknowledge that, Constable Addis? I've written what I can, Dan, yeah. So you have, you've taken minutes or notes, officer? Did you write down minutes or notes? The yeah. officer has refused to answer. No, that's not right. Sorry, I, Can, sorry, uh, I'm really sorry. able to see everything I've written and then sign that you acknowledge what I've Did you write down minutes or notes? The officer has refused to answer. A bit like yes and no. Really.